Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I say Privet IK. Hope you're all doing good. So today's topic will be on the consumption of uh, raw materials from a different plant. So in this process, basically the production order will be created in plant A. And whereas the consumption of uh, the raw materials will happen from plant B. So let's see the process how this basically works. So here, uh, like I said, we are going to create a production order, let's say in plant uh, 1000. And uh, under the bill of material, uh, we do have the component RM1. So this RM1, we are not going to stock it in the manufacturing plant, so which is 1000. But this will be always stored in a different plant un under the same company code, let's say 1100. So 1100 and 1000, they belong to the same company code. So we are always going to procure and stock this uh, raw material RM1 in this particular plant. So we don't want to do the stock transfer between 1100 and uh, 1000. Instead, I would like to basically consume the raw material uh, from the uh, 1100 plant itself. So let's see uh, in SAP. So here I am in SAP. Uh, so let me first go to the bill of material. And my example today would be 1317 in the plant 1000. So if we look at the bomb, we have uh, two raw materials RM1 and RM2. So here, uh, RM1, I would like to consume it from the 1100 plant or any other different plant. And RM2, this will be stored in the manufacturing plant itself, so which is 1000. So first, let's get into the details of uh, the, the master data setup. So in order to basically consume the uh, raw material from a different plant, uh, we just need to uh, make a kind of a configuration, a very minor configuration on the special procurement key and also uh, make a very minor uh, master data maintenance. So the material which you would like to procure it from uh, a different plant or uh, pick it from there. So in that particular material master, so let me go there. Sorry. So this particular setting, what I'm doing here, this is in the manufacturing plant itself. So which is 1000. So as you can see here, under the MRP2 view, I have defined the procurement type as F, so, but because we are going to uh, procure it. And uh, the special procurement key uh, that we have, that we are going to use here is 71. So when you look at the special procurement key configuration, let, let me go to uh, OPPQ to look at the plan parameters in 1000 and the special procurement key. So these are the complete list of uh, special procurement keys. So this is the one I've created, 71. So if you look at this, uh, this a, a special procurement key has been uh, created basically to consume the particular uh, raw material from a, a different plant. So if you look at the configuration here, the procurement type should be as F, uh, which means for external procurement. And uh, down below, if the material is being used as a bomb component, right? So in that case, you're going to use these particular settings. So here, since we are going to withdraw this uh, raw material from a different plant, we have to activate this particular checkbox under the withdrawal from alternate plant. And then we are going to assign the plant which will basically supply this particular raw material into the manufacturing plant. So in our example, we are going to use plant 1100 uh, from where the raw material will, uh, will be consumed as an alternative plant. So once the configuration is done and the special procurement key 71 has been created, so we have to assign the same in the material master under the MRP2 view. So this is the only setting that we need here. So once it is done, we are good with the setup. So we have reviewed the bomb. So let's go to the execution process. So I'm going to open MD04. 
And here I've already created a requirement of uh, 300 pieces as my safety stock. So the next thing what I usually do is to run the MRP. Why? Because we do not have sufficient stock in the plant and we have to start manufacture uh, this particular uh, finished product in order to meet the requirement on the safety stock. So before I execute MRP, I would like to open the MD04 of uh, the raw material as well. So here it is RM1. So if you look at the uh, MD04 statistics in 1000, there is no, I mean, uh, there is no requirement or nothing, right? So if I go into the supplying plant, which is my 1100, or let's say it has an alternative plant. So here we have no stock, no requirement. So going back to MD04 of the finished product, now I'm going to run MRP. So MRP has been executed. And then we can see that uh, we have a plan order created for the safety stock quantity, which is uh, 300 pieces. And as you can see here, uh, these options, if you want to uh, enable it in uh, MD04 as your favorites, please do watch my previous video. So it's already part of uh, the playlist that I've already created. So that details on how the complete process on how to create these uh, icons or the shortcuts over here. Okay, so now since we have the planned order, let me take a look at the MD04 at the alternate plant. So now refresh and you can see that the different requirement ha has been created with reference to the planned order. So if you see here, the planned order number is 95121. And if I open the dependent requirement, you can see the same number, 95121. And since there is no stock available here, so MRP has already created a purchase requisition. So the next step for us is to convert this purchase requisition into a purchase order. So looks like there is a, a release strategy set up uh, for this uh, material. So I'm going to release the purchase requisition first. So for that, we are going to use ME. 54N. Okay, I'm going to assign the purchase requisition that is 44861. So this is my purchase requisition and if I go to into the release strategies, I can see three levels here. So I have to go to the change mode first release first level second level and then the third level and then save it so the, the purchase requisition has been released so i'm going to go back to the md04 and then convert this into a purchase order so i can just drag the purchase requisition here and place it in the cart So all the details have been copied there and now I'm going to assign the purchase org 1000 and my vendor. So that's it. I'm going to do a check. So no messages. I'm going to save the purchase order now and refresh the list. So we can see the purchase order number created now so the next step is basically to do a goods receipt so for that i am going into the transaction mygo migo and i'm going to use the goods receipt option here by using purchase order close this and then the delivery note these are few mandatory parameters and that has been customized. So you don't need not worry if it is not enabled in your system. Item, okay. And evaluate the shipping instructions, okay. What else do I need here? Yeah, number of containers. And the storage location finally. Let's check. 
so now since this material uh, being a batch managed uh, we are going to have the batch 817 created it's just an information message so now i click on post and go back to md04 and do a refresh so now you can see that the purchase order has been disappeared because of the goods receipt and now we can see the sufficient uh, stock of 600 uh, in the plant 1100 or the alternate plant so since we have stock the next thing is to convert this plant order of the finished product in the manufacturing plant 1000 into a production order so i'm going to do it from here and if i go into the components we can see that the plant has already been changed to 1100 so this is happening because of the special procurement key that we have activated in the material master so then i mean usually we do the uh, batch determination but for some reason the batch management setup is not yet uh, activated properly uh, or maybe consistent uh, for this material in this particular plant so i'm not going to use that process instead i'm going to assign the batch manually but you can watch my other videos uh, if you want to have uh, a more understanding on how the batch determination works so now i'm doing a manual assignment and the next thing is we release the order so the release has been rejected because the second batch i mean the batch for the second component is not yet uh, assigned Okay. and let's do the release now so now the release is completed save and refresh the md04 now we can see that we have a production order 6006187 that has been created so the next thing is basically to perform the goods issue so for that i am going into the transaction micro and choose the option goods issue and the category would be as order so here I'm going to put my production order and whenever we do the goods issue of a production order the uh, default movement type should be as 261 and here we can see uh, the two raw materials and whereas the first one the first raw material this is going to be consumed from plant 1100 and whereas the second one is going to be consumed from plant 1000 okay so let me check these two materials and do a check okay number of containers one each check so now i'm good to post the document so the goods issue has been posted so if i go into the md04 of uh, the rm1 in the alternate plan and refresh it so you can see that the reservation has been disappeared and as well as the stock so what happened basically here and if i go into the production order so this is my production order and you can see that the status gmps has been updated which means that the goods movement has been posted and if I go into the details of the documented goods movements, so we can see a 261 being already posted with this particular material document. And if I go into the details of this material document, we can see the stock that has been consumed from the alternate plant. So which is 1100 for RM1 and 1000 for rm2 so in this way we can basically manage the consumption of uh, a raw material that is being stored at a, a different uh, location and you have defined it as a plant for some reason and you don't want to do a stock transfer from uh, one plant to another plant and then do the consumption instead by using the special procurement key you can uh, directly pick the uh, raw materials or the components from the alternate plant itself so that's how this process works.